If you're studying for the FCP 7.4 administrator exam, one of the requirements might be that you have some experience with the 40 manager, the device responsible for managing multiple 40 gates. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate the 40 gate running 40 OS 7.4.5 with the 40 manager running the same version of 40 OS. Now, I won't show you how to deploy those devices from scratch, but if you want to learn how to do it, you can watch this video that I recorded some time ago. Additionally, you should know that the most recent versions of 40 OS, I believe 7.2.0 and above, they require you to request a license or a permanent license from Fortinet. So if you want to learn how to request a permanent license from Fortinet, you can also watch this video that I did some time ago, and I'm going to share also in the video description. So in this video, we're just going to focus on integrating the FortiGate with the Forti Manager. So this process should be simple to implement, as we can see from the instructions on the FortiOS 7.4.5 administration guide here on the section uh, central management. So in my case, I have a lab deployed with just two devices and they're sitting on the same network because I don't want to worry about uh, routing or firewall sitting between these two devices. So essentially, all we have to do is go to uh, Security Fabric, Fabric Connectors and click on Central Management and then enable secure central management settings and then provide the 40 manager IP address. All of these done on the 40 gate. So let's go to security fabric and fabric connectors. And we want to select central management. Just double click on it. And we want to change the status to enabled. So I'm going to select type to on-prem and I'm going to type the 40 manager IP address. So it's going to be 32.2. .2. You're going to click OK. This means that FortiGate will try to reach out to Forti Manager and then try to be authorized to be managed by Forti Manager. So it looks like there is a problem. So the Forti Manager's access to the FortiGate will be authenticated by the Forti Manager certificate. The serial number from the certificate must match the serial number observed on the Forti Manager. And it's saying that it could not connect to the Forti Manager to retrieve its serial number. OK. It looks like there is a problem. Now, let's see if Forti Manager did receive this request coming from FortiGate. I'm going to click on return and let's go to Forti Manager. Okay, and we don't see any requests coming on Forti Manager. So it seems like there is some type of problem and actually there is. So after spending quite some time troubleshooting this issue, I was able to finally identify the problem. And it looks like since version 7.5, the way Forti Manager and FortiGate authenticate themselves now requests uh, some additional parameters. Now, I won't read all of this by, for you, but you can read these. I'm going to share it in the video description. So essentially, this is what we have to do. We have to disable uh, this new requirement that is enabled by default on Forti Manager. OK, so we have to disable this option set FGFM peer cert without SN enable. OK, so let's go to Forti Manager and I'm going to log in CLI. So that should be config sys global and that was uh, set fgfm so set fgfm peer cert enable okay and that should solve the problem okay let me just double check yep without sn so i'm just going to close this and now i'm going to send the request again on Forti gate. Okay, so now we can see that Forti Manager is trying to authenticate Forti gate. So I'm going to click on accept and click OK. And now we have to authorize the Forti gate on Forti Manager dashboard. Okay, so I'm going to Forti Manager and here we have one unauthorized device. So we're going to select this device, the Forti gate and authorize. OK, so we're going to assign the policy package default. Click OK. And it should add FortiGate to be managed by the Forti Manager. 
Okay, and the device was successfully added, so I'm going to close these. And we should see that now FireWall is synchronized and it's being managed by Forti Manager. So let's take a look at details. So uh, for instance, what we can see. Okay, this is the summary about this firewall. So let's take a look at interfaces and also some settings like system settings. So let's take a look. Uh, can I change, for instance, the host name instead of being firewall one, just to set to firewall one and apply or commit these changes. So if we go back to FortiGate and click OK, so let's try to log in again. Now it's saying that all the changes should be done on Forti Manager because this FortiGate device is being managed by the Forti Manager. So we can log in as a read only or we can overwrite the changes from the FortiGate and then send to Forti Manager. Although this is not recommended because if we are using Forti Manager to manage the FortiGate, we should make the changes on Forti Manager and then send them to the FortiGate. Okay, this should be everything we need to do to integrate FortiGate with the Forti Manager. But there's still something that I want to share with you. So if we go to Forti Manager and let's install those changes from Forti Manager to the FortiGate. So we're going to just install device settings. Actually, let me select also Pulse Patch and Device Settings. I'm going to select the default and we're going to click Next. This is the only device and it's going to begin the installation. So we can preview which changes will be applied to uh, FortiGate Firewall. OK, this is what's going to be sent to the Firewall. OK, so it's going to change the host name and the VPN certificate. OK, it doesn't seem like a lot. So let's begin the installation. OK, the installation process was completed, but it failed. And if we take a look at the installation log. So if we go to the last part, so it looks like a couple of things were done or not. So it's not clear, but it seems to have some problem with these uh, banner ciphers. OK, now and it says that the installation failed, but if we go to FortiGate and let me update these, I guess let's just go to system and settings. So we see that now the host name was actually changed to FGTFW. So recall that before it was F double one. Now I wasn't able to figure out what's the main issue with pushing the configuration from Forti Manager to FortiGate. Probably is some type of bug because that type of setting cannot be enabled or disabled even using the CLI. So this is just one thing that I wanted to add so that in case you decide to set up this lab, just know that you will face this error. The settings will be applied but the status will be has failed. And if we go back on Forti Manager, we should confirm that uh, that change was also applied on Forti Manager. OK, so this is how we integrate the FortiGate 745 with the Forti Manager 745. So if you took value from this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and I'll see you on the next one.